Welcome back to the Spooky Nerd Club, everyone. I'm here with my co-host, Mike Loves Scary Stuff and Yo. Kit Kat. Hey! And today, <laughs> we're just going to talk about the Mahonan drive-in. And i actually been to that drive-in a couple times already this year, and one actually with Mike. Janet doesn't know anything about it, but this would be a good video for you because you can learn a lot about what happens over there let's go i'm ready let's go basically yesterday they had a screening of the lost boys and 35 millimeter film and it was the season finale which they usually do like a bonfire and they have like a special guest and stuff like that and they had tim capello the saxophone player from the lost boys you know who i'm talking about janet <laughs> i was so wet <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> but if you're talking about last night <laughs> yes i was wet because it was raining outside <laughs> guess how old he is 57 37 68 damn mike 68. goodbye you were like 20 years off <laughs> <laughs> Right. I thought the cigarettes hit him hard, that's all. <laughs> you can't smoke cigarettes and be blowing pipes like that. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hello, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's 68 years old and he is still jacked as ever. His arms still look like pythons. I've seen the arm. You seen the arms on the I video. The arm. It was I'll a little sweaty. I was like, who is that? <laughs> you yeah, I guess that's why I was wet. <laughs> <laughs> he was such a good showman, though. Like, honestly, after the movie finished, I was kind of like, eh, whatever about seeing him perform. But then once he started, like, everyone crowded around and he started going, I was like, yo, this dude is actually it was funny. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, I mean, he's got to be good. This man has been riding that wave for 30 years. Yo, and he's only in the film for 12 seconds. Oh, I know. And it's, you know what? It's the 12 it's like, seconds everybody remembers. It's that His hard muscles. thrust. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit about the Mahonan drive-in it's like a real kind of like nostalgic experience you know because it's very old school feeling they always play old school films uh 80s 70s slasher films uh all type <laughs> you know the theater it's been around since like 1948 and they exclusively only played 35 millimeter film well i'm not sure only they may have played 16 millimeter before possibly but i know they normally always do 35 millimeter film they host big events sometimes weekend events they did a halloween-a-thon event this year where basically you go from like friday to sunday you can camp out over there they show a bunch of different halloween movies in 35 millimeter shower? that's the thing where you, you take don't. a shower <laughs> you don't in the wet vibes of your like you know fanatic situation you just Diesel. take you just take some good wipes with you no some good wipe baths you know some booty wipes but honestly though they they have a bunch of hotels out there that you could stay at nelly and i stayed at a hotel that was like maybe five miles away from the theater it was really clean uh it wasn't like a rundown hotel it was it might have been like country inn suites or something like that I, I believe did they have it was. Breakfast at seven o'clock. They in the morning? did have Ooh, breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I had me a waffle. That's how you got to book it. <laughs> Free cookies and coffee all day. Hell and they yeah. had the waffle. Hell yeah. Full breakfast in the morning, and it was only like 130 bucks to stay there overnight. Beautiful. Hey, Beautiful. With incidentals Beautiful. and everything, 130 <laughs> wasn't bad at all. Not bad. At the concession stand there, they have you know your typical normal movie theater type of snacks they serve cheeseburgers all of that 
Last time Mike and I went, it was during the Killer Clowns screening, and they had a cotton candy cheeseburger that I didn't try because I can't stand cotton candy, but Mike ate it. He was like, Regretfully, I ate it. No, you didn't like it. (laughs) It was so bad. (laughs) I was just stomach after the day after Uh, that. You know, I got an iron stomach. It's all good. (laughs) He ate the whole thing. (laughs) I did. I ate the whole thing. I paid eight dollars for it. I was eating it. (laughs) It gives me the Mm, just thinking about it. Yeah, it was not good. I don't know who came up with that idea, but they need to stop. (laughs) (laughs) It was a cool burger idea, but it just doesn't mix. You know, it doesn't mix cotton candy with burgers. Yeah, some things just don't. Sometimes mixed with salty. So they just got the formula wrong. Oh, at that point, point. you could just throw sugar on top of the burger. (laughs) Yeah, but they put sugar in spaghetti. What do you think cotton candy is? They just threw sugar (laughs) on top of the burger. (laughs) In that same area where you get concessions. I don't know if it was somebody from Diabolic DVD or like just a partner company that was selling Diabolic DVDs. But I got two movies from them. And I just want to show y'all what I got real quick. I just picked these up because I wanted to support. And I always wanted to get an indicator film from their company. And I haven't got one yet. But I got two orphan vampires. How much was that? $25? 35. 35. Oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> and I also got this one. Debbie, Debbie does demons. demons. <laughs> Save that for me. <laughs> you know what the Debbie does series is, right, Janet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, stop it, Janet. Google what is she, it. Like a like a. All right, what is no, it no, no, not now. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> oh, no, not right now. <laughs> Jesus what <is> Christ. <laughs> Just take the first two words of the title and you can put anything on the back of it. And, uh, oh, she does the Gawk Gawk 23, 2023. No. Yeah, yeah the 23,000 yeah. times 10, but with demons. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, so this is a porno. <laughs> this oh, is, is a, it? It's a straight porno. <laughs> Ray was like, I want to see the practical effects. <laughs> yes. I want to see how hard they go for it. So, yeah, when I went with Mike last time, though, the Killer Clowns, the Chioto brothers was there. And Mike's a fan of them. And he didn't even go see them. them. He didn't even go see the Chioto brothers. Because I forgot my uh, Blu-ray here. What am I going to do? Have them sign some headshots? Sign your palms like this. (laughs) There's two of them. And get it tattooed. (laughs) Period. (laughs) Exactly. So what? Or your your nipples. You could have got one and one. What did this video turn into? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to get some um, Chioto brother action out of you. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, so last night after the Lost Boys movie, Timmy Capello came out, pulled that sax out, and drawed everybody and to him. And pulled the guns out. He pulled the Yo. guns out. <laughs> Come on, baby. Do it. I want whatever you're drinking, baby. I want something, whatever you got. You guys know that I'm your grandfather's age, right? But I gotta tell you something. You mother are making me feel 25 right now. Oh, I still believe Yes, his showmanship <laughs> was on a thousand. Like you would think this guy was performing in like Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Aww, he gave it his all. <laughs> he gave it his all. He was playing different instruments. He was singing. He was jumping off stage, walking in the crowd, standing in the rain with all of us. Like, just was like performing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 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 so the most hilarious thing was, you know, so like his song is I Still Believe in the Lost Boys. And he performed that as like his like final song in his set, which was cool, a cool way to go out. Cause once that song came in, then everybody started 
getting together and started dancing and he was vibing and i guess those vibes got him so so energized <laughs> he was definitely wet he was stroking the audience with his saxophone everyone was loving it and um <laughs> so after that performance finished everyone was cheering for him and they were like one more song one more song he's like i don't have it oh he had one <laughs> <laughs> he had one he pulled out this instrument i don't know what it was that just sounded so loud and the bass on it was so pumping that it just sounded so dope Ray and was guess, what, guess what song he played tell us <laughs> tequila <laughs> that was his encore song <laughs> That like oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole John. Everybody was loving that. That's oh. amazing. Honestly, <laughs> I think if you didn't like the Lost Boys, just witnessing how his performance was alone <laughs> was worth it because he was just he was just very energized and he was into all of it. You know, amazing. It was fun. Let us know if you've ever been to the Mahonan Theater and if you've ever been to a drive-in in general. Let us know what films you saw and how your experience was. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video.